beautiful blue sky and all I could think was if only you could see that beautiful blue sky and know that when you walk out the door it's warm but we know it's not I'm gonna freeze your titties off She's come running in um, um, no. and, and barked at me, like barking at me because she wants she wants something out of the fridge. Can I have a um, so I'm <laughs> I've just given her a felicity a baby bell and said, right, you best um you best share that baby bell between um Charlie and Moon because I'm not used to this neediness. Um Charlie doesn't uh bark when I open the fridge. He loves he loves cheese and he can always tell um, when you open a cheese wrapper because Charlie could hear it from the bottom of the garden. As soon as there's a cheese wrapper, he's there. Um, but yeah, I've got, um, just got in. My sister dropped. Who's not eating it now? Oh, does she not like it? I've got some dog treats. And Charlie would do anything for cheese. Um, here we go. Give them one of these each. One of those each. I'm going to sneeze. I've had. A horrendous cold. I swear this winter has been the absolute yes, worst know. for um for like winter viruses, colds and stuff. I feel like I'm I have one good week and then I'm knocked off my feet with something else. Um so yeah, I keep sneezing at the moment, but I think I'm on the tail end of it. I think I'm getting better. Um, but anyway, um hi everybody. If you don't know who we are, um we are the Baldwin family and we have been vlogging for almost six years and we have had a little bit of a clean slate shall we say so some people watching this will know who we are and everything about us but if you're new here you're gonna be thinking why is she talking like everyone knows everything the because we don't um, but yeah what was I saying just got in moon's here my sister's dropped her off I'm just making Felicity a cheese spread wrap Although you did ask for some cucumber, I don't think I even got it out of the fridge. That's why I did get the cucumber out of the fridge. Two seconds. No, I didn't get it out of the fridge. Um, but yeah, we've just been over to see my friend's new house. She's just moved um, and she's moved to a different town, not too far away. Um, but we've just been to have a look at her new house, which is absolutely lovely. Um, and whilst I was there, my sister dropped the dog over and she's just popped into town and then she's going to come back yeah it's all all systems go it's actually quite late on in the afternoon now and i need to start thinking about um putting some tea together because you know everybody's gonna want to be fed everyone's gonna want to feed in again all right you're not having anything else come here come here Lou. Right, she's not gonna let me pick her up she'll let felicity pick her up but she'll um she runs away if i go to, to pick her up Right, Felicity, here's your um, wrap. I've got Moon. You've got Moon? I can't hop with her though. Oh, Felicity is also completely unable to walk at the moment. Um, no. Which I will fill everybody in on in a second. I can't hear you. The noisy one. This is the one who thinks that everything is all about her. 
all food is hers, <laughs> all attention is hers, everything is all about her, isn't it? <laughs> is that right, Moon? Everything's about you. She is the most cuddliest. I mean, you can pick her up and she'll snuggle in and have the bestest cuddles. If I pick Charlie up, he just wants to lick my face. <laughs> um, but Moon loves the cuddle, don't you, Moon? She's like, I take a cuddle all day long and loves the cuddle. But I like treats more. I love a treat more. All right, you can have her back, Charlie. Do you want her back? Do you? Come on, then. Charlie has... Um, been bored for the last couple of well the last yeah couple of weeks because we haven't been able to get out and about too much because he had an injury and now that that no you're not having anything else no more it's, it's all it's, I'm gonna get you more aren't I and here I am saying no more and then in the cupboard I go honestly you're so needy come on then come on <laughs> Yeah, Charlie had an injury for um, a couple of weeks. He pulled his muscles in his back. Um, and then, as Charlie was getting better, Felicity has had, I say an injury. I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know all about it because I have been doing um, little posts on there. But it happened whilst we weren't uploading. And I don't even know what happened. I'm still now, almost three weeks later, I still don't actually know what's happened. So the story goes, doesn't it, Felicity? The story goes that I took her swimming in the Thursday of half term, February half term. She had a, oh, no more. No, no, enough. <laughs> they had this huge, like, big inflatable in the middle of the swimming pool, um, like an obstacle course. And she had the absolute best time with her friends and they were clambering all over it. And, and then she was jumping in off the side. She had the best day. Nothing happened. No injury. She didn't hurt herself. She doesn't recall hurting herself. Um, but then by that evening, she started to say her knee was hurting. So I was like, oh, maybe you um, hurt it at swimming. And then on the Friday, that was the last vlog we did before um, we had a break. And we went to like a little farm park and for lunch. And she wasn't herself she was very quiet and she was um saying it was hurting but she hobbled around and then on the saturday i said right we'll stay at home all day and you can rest rest your knee and you know you've got back to school on monday by the end of saturday she couldn't even walk she couldn't straighten her leg she couldn't put any weight on it whatsoever um she was crying in pain so i was like right i'm taking her in to a and e to get checked over i'm you know i'm really not happy about this because we don't even know what's happened so i popped her into um to a e they did an x-ray of her knee which was um all clear so they said it looks like the mcl ligament so it's the ligament i, I can't actually get my leg up that high i wish i could but i can't it's the, yeah oh you can see yeah, your good leg but there's a, the ligaments that run on the inside of your knee i would show you but i'm not that flexible um and they put her on crutches. These lovely, bright yellow, they're like minion crutches, bright yellow ones. They put her on these and she went to school on Monday and I thought, she could be loving it. Everyone's gonna be like, attention on Felicity because she's on crutches. Um, by Thursday, she was still unable to put her foot on the floor. Um, one of my mum friends at school had been in assembly that afternoon because her son was, um, it was his class assembly. She said, oh, is Felicity okay? Because I noticed she wasn't even putting her foot on the floor. And I explained the story to her. I said, I don't know what's actually happened. All I know is that um, she's lost the, lo lost the use of her leg. And I thought by now, if she was like milking it a little bit for the attention, she'd have like got over that and be like, right, get rid of these crutches. I want to get back to running around the playground and doing gymnastics. But she hadn't. I picked her up from school and her whole leg on the bad leg was freezing cold. I, I'm talking like as if she'd had it hanging out the window the whole drive home from school. And the other leg was normal temperature, the same as the rest of her body. So I rung the doctors and said, what shall I do? Because, you know, her leg is freezing. She's still unable to use it. So the doctor saw her and he sent her into hospital where she was admitted overnight. They did a blood test and an MRI. The blood test, did you have another x-ray? Yeah, she had an x-ray of her hips, they x-rayed her hips. They did a blood test and they did an MRI. 
by Friday night, the MRI still hadn't been re reported on by the radiographer. I mean, this isn't what they said, but it's how I, you know, reading between the lines, what I think he said was, the radiographer hasn't reported on it as of yet. It's now 7 p.m. on a Friday night. It's now the weekend. Go home and we'll call you back in hospital next week. Anyway, Monday came round. I was sat on my phone all day waiting for it to ring. Didn't get a phone call. So I gave them a call. Got through to a secretary. I need to sneeze again. I haven't actually sneezed yet, but I just keep getting that feeling of sneezing in my nose. Um, you know what I do? I do that. Yeah, pinch it and then it goes away. So I just did. Um, so yeah, I got hold of the secretary and she said that she'd leave a note for the... Oh, I missed a little bit. On the Friday night, it was the paediatric consultant that came to see us. He said that within his knowledge, from what he could see, he was happy to rule out anything sinister, anything nasty, which was a huge relief because I was thinking all sorts. I was absolutely terrified. And he said he was happy to rule out there was nothing sinister, nothing really nasty going on. Um, but he could see some fluid around her knee. So we came home. Then obviously the Monday I tried to get hold of them, there was a note left, and then on the Tuesday I still hadn't heard, so I called again, and she said that the um, orthopaedic consultant had been on a call for the junior doctor strike, so he hadn't even seen the note yet. And then they called me on Thursday to say that the MRI scan was normal. And I thought, well, the other consultant said he could see fluid. Now they're saying it's normal, but she still can't use her leg. She's still completely unable to, to wait there. So we're back in the hospital tomorrow, aren't we? Tomorrow afternoon, we've got an appointment. It was a telephone appointment. And I said, can you move it to a clinic appointment? Because um, she needs to be actually seen. Uh, they booked it as a telephone appointment after the A&E visit before she had the admission. So they've moved it to a clinic appointment. So hopefully I might have some news in the next vlog over what's happened. But at the moment, you're just pretty fed up, aren't you? How fed up are you? On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the most fed up and 1 not being fed up at all, how fed up are you? 8. An 8. That's a bit fed up, isn't it? She's had enough, she's absolutely, she just wants to be able to be normal again and play with her friends and run around the house. And yeah, I'd like to be able to like go out for a walk <laughs> or do do something. So yeah, and yesterday we went to the cinema because what else can you do when you've got a kid on crutches? Can't go for a walk, can't go to soft play, can't go bowling, can't go swimming. The only place we could go was the cinema. So we went and watched Wish yesterday, didn't we? It's really good. It is good. You should go and see it. You should go and see it. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely go and see it. It doesn't matter how old you are, you should see it. It's a very good Disney film, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Definitely one I'd watch again because the soundtrack's brilliant. In fact, we could put that on the Alexa if you like. We can listen to that. Yeah. But right now, I need to start peeling some potatoes and sorting the dinner because we're having. I want to do something. We're having. You've been out. You've just been to, to your friend's house. Yeah, but I want to do something. What would you like to do? Do you want to run a marathon? Yeah. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> yeah, I need to get on. I've got to make sausage casserole, mashed potato, carrots. Yeah, do you fancy carrots? I just want mashed potato. You just want mashed potato. Just mash, just a whole plate of mash. Yep. Yep. Make you'd, extra mash. You'd actually be quite happy with that, wouldn't you? I just want plain mash. Just want plain mash. You might think it's still the same day because I'm in the same clothes, but it's actually Monday, Monday morning, um, and I'm in the same clothes because I cannot keep on top of the washing. Um, I've got no tumble dryer. All I've got is this giant um, error that I got from Argos and no tumble dryer with eight 
nine people in the house, it's not a good combination. So if it's still clean, you're wearing it again. We are recycling, reusing our clothes as much as possible, or I am at least. Um, I'm trying my best. And obviously teenage boys, I mean, they're, they're helping without even knowing they're helping. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's Monday morning. Kev's off today, it's his day off. He's just outside loading up the car with stuff for the tip. Tip run number two. We've already done one so far this morning, and now he's on to the second one. We've been doing like a big bedroom makeover in the girls' bedroom. So we have, if you don't, if you're new here, you won't, you won't, my, you, oh, I can't even talk. You won't know um, that we have three girls and they all share a bedroom, which isn't ideal, I know, but you know, you've got to, you've got to do what you've got to do. Use what you've got, got to use and make it work. So we've got, Three girls, 16, eight, and six sharing a bedroom. So trying to do a bedroom renovation and get a good balance. Like you don't want the little ones to have like a teenage grown up bedroom, but you don't want the teenage grown up one to have a baby type or a little girl's bedroom. So trying to get that balance right. And I get creative block. I start off with Google and I Google like um, girls bedroom ideas or I put in the ages, I'm like eight year old bedroom or eight year old plus teenager. And I just try and get as many ideas. But when you do that, it's always American houses, which are flipping massive. And then they can partition it. But we don't have, we don't have that in the UK. We've got tiny little houses. Um, so anyway, my creative juices started going and I'm really, really pleased. I'm so pleased with how it looks. And it's been the most asked for thing in the comments, Instagram messages, people saying, um, I can't wait to see the bedroom. And I'm gonna show you it in this video. I'm gonna go up there and finish tidying it first because it needs the beds making and the tidy round. It's not quite 100% complete. We had, um, that's the only room in our whole house that's got alcove around the roof. And it's the proper plaster stuff, but it's obviously been up there since, the dawn of time and some of it had fallen down like one whole strip had fallen down um, and we're going to replace it with just the cheap polystyrene stuff because you just you know patch it up because the proper stuff is really expensive however it's Kev he's really happy he lo loves the tip run don't he absolutely loves it best he loves it it's like his day off what are we doing tip run Last happy week, last week was decorating all week, last week was decorating all week. yeah a whole week off for doing this decorating um, but yeah that's the only thing that's left is this piece of alcove we went to being Hugh the other day and they didn't have any of the right right thickness in stock um <laughs> so you're gonna have to excuse that part that's the bit that hasn't been finished but will be and but yeah once i've done this other tip run and had a tidy up i will then show you the bedroom it absolutely stinks this isn't actually stuff from the bedroom transformation that was the first tip run this is tip run number two which is an old cabinet riley's bedroom and yeah Jamie's stuff. when we did a, like a, a bedroom swap around and everything got like chucked on the end of the driveway and then the tip burnt down <laughs> there was a massive fire and then the the tip was shut does everyone call it a tip yeah. often when we talk about tip runs people are like what's a tip run so if you're not watching in the uk you'll have no idea what a tip recycling run is center. but it's yeah it's where you take all your junk to like the yeah the recycling center and stuff that can't go out with your household waste so it has been on the end of the driveway and brooke's car was hiding it no one could see it because brooke's car was there well, brooke's car's not there anymore because she's passed her test and i'm like that is the biggest eyesore it looks like someone's fly tipped outside our house so yeah it absolutely stinks freaks can't wait for it to all be gone
over, almost complete. And um, before I talk through everything, can we just say I hate these doors just as much as you do. They're gross. Um, all of our doors upstairs are these horrible brown, gross doors. And one day, me and Kev are going to be pondering over the bank account and saying, oh, what should we spend this money on? There's nothing that we need. Oh, let's buy some new doors. But I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Um, so yeah, just know that I hate it too. It's, it, they are an eyesore, they're gross. Um, but anyway, back to the girls' bedroom, which is beautiful now, if you ignore the door. Um, the, ra the rabbit wallpaper. I fell in love with it. I saw it in Dunnell. Only £12 a roll. Did have to drive over to Western Supermare to pick it up. But I absolutely loved it. I showed the girls and... Felicity was like, oh my God, it's so cute. I love it. I love it. And then once I put it up, Felicity said, oh, mummy, I'm worried that my friends are going to say it's babyish and I'm going to sound like a hypocrite. But I said to her, it doesn't matter what other people think. It's what you want and what you like that matters. Um, coming from me. <laughs> but I was like, no, if you love it, then that's all that matters. And she does because she loves bunnies. So this was the first thing that we chose, the wallpaper. And then we then worked everything else around the wallpaper, obviously keeping in mind that this is also for a 16 year old girl. So wallpaper, radiator cover. I wanted to bring in the warm tones from the wallpaper, hence the color of the carpet. You know, against my better judgment, we've gone for like a cream colored carpet, but you know, <laughs> it wouldn't have looked right any other colour. You know, grey wouldn't have worked. It had to be this colour. It matches perfectly with the bunnies. I wish I had better lighting in here, but I've pulled the curtain down, the blind down, because obviously as I pan the camera around, you can see all the neighbours' houses. Um, but yeah, I went for this colour carpet to match the rabbits. And then when I was choosing a radiator cover, they had either all white, which is what I would normally go for, or a wood top. Now, it's darker than it looked in the um, in the picture. But I knew I wanted the white bunnies. So I bought this one, this little nightlight one from HomeSense. And then when I was making my little HomeSense reel that I put on Instagram, I thought, you know what? I just wish I'd bought those other two. And then we went back and I thought they were gone. And then they'd just been moved and we found them. Um, so because I was going for the white ornaments, I thought white on white, you know, you need to have a bit of a contrast. So I went for the wood and I'm glad I did. I think it looks okay. Um, it definitely gives you that warmth and it also gives that contrast between the white radiator cover and the white bunnies. Um, these are an absolute bargain. Home Sense is so cheap. This one was $5.99. Still got the stickers on the bums. That one was $5.99 and this one was $3.99. So absolute bargains. These are from Ikea. Um, my thought was to try and bring in some gold as well because it kind of matches in with the paper. Um, so I'm going to get some faux plants to put in those again to bring a little bit more colour. And then above the radiator cover, you can see my shadow here, I want to put a, um, a round gold trimmed mirror. So nothing massive because I don't want to crowd the wall too much because we've got the TV as well. But just a, like a mirror, the right height for summer um, so she can use it in the mornings. The only thing is, I, I want to do that, I want to put a mirror there. But what I don't want her to do is then put her makeup and make this like a dumping zone. So we will see how it, how it works out once I've been and bought a mirror. Coming round to this part of the room, they've both got, all got new chest of drawers. So Summer has one to herself and the girls share one. They used to have the four drawer. So then we've gone for the extra two smaller drawers on the top and it makes all the difference but it makes them so high that Sienna, she can't get into the top drawer. Um, so whenever she needs anything out of the top drawer, she has to ask someone to come and get it for her. These are a little bit strange though. Has anyone else bought these and had this problem? So there's a metal bar that they've put in that they never used to have before. And the drawer catches on the metal bar and then I have to like shove it shut. So I don't know whether, this has some fingerprints on there as well, dusty fingerprints from where we've been drilling holes in the walls. Um, I don't know whether, and I don't want to say this because he works so hard, whether Kev's maybe put them together slightly wrong 
or whether whether that's just how they are now that you get this metal bar that catches on the top drawers but it's just a little bit weird um, but anyway new drawers from ikea tv back up on the wall this is like summer's little um area i went for these ikea spice racks to use as shelves again trying to bring in some wood tone but now against the white chest of drawers i'm wondering if i need to paint them white or stain them a closer color to the top of the radiator cover or not worry because it really doesn't matter that much and um, they're serving a purpose they're there for summer to use to put anything she wants in them this chair doesn't belong in here um it doesn't belong anywhere everyone keeps moving it <laughs> around the house because no one knows where to put it it used to be in riley's room and now it's not but when i came in here a moment ago it had her pile of clothes on summers that i gave her last night to put away and she didn't put away so maybe it can stay there and stops her from dumping her clothes on the floor um this is summer's bed which she has got the vines behind we haven't replaced this bedside table she hasn't had it very long and it is covered in makeup and nail varnish and all of that sort of thing um so yeah I didn't replace it, but now I feel like it looks really skanky against the newer furniture. But, you know, she's a teenage girl and it's not going to get any better anytime soon. Uh, so, yeah, that's her bedside table, her bed. Um, this is an ottoman bed as well. So that can be lifted up and she's got stuff underneath. She's wanted vines for a long, long time. She's really, really wanted these um, vines behind her bed. So these came from... Amazon or you can see now the um, alcove that's missing that's what we need to replace and patch up the little bit up there where it's got a bit of a gap also we went for a blind instead of curtains because we felt that it was nicer to have the blind because curtains you know can make that area look a little bit cluttered by the time summer's finished putting up all of the stuff she wants to put on the walls so she used to have her photos just stuck to the wall um, she's going to get frames and then we're going to like make a, a collage of photos. I'm really worried this lighting's really bad. I'm just going to pull the blind up a moment. That's a little bit of an improvement. You can actually see the paint colour a little bit better. Although it looks brown on camera, it's actually Dulux pressed petal, which is like a dusky pink. Um, you're going to have to trust me on that because through the camera it looks brown. Um, what was I saying? She really wanted vines. I thought they were going to come with like a drop, a set of um, fairy lights, you know, like a long a long wire along the top and then drops of fairy lights they don't they come one big long line of lights so i've used command hooks to take them up and down up and down up and down the wall um it took me forever but i got there in the end she loves them there's a reason why we've left this gap down one side and that's because she's got her musical programs running up the side of the chimney breast she's also got one more that's going to go on this side but we're going to, to see two musicals in fact i think she's actually going to see three this year one is everyone's talking about jamie the other is wicked and I've, she's got her one from six as well so they're going to go down in this gap so that will like bring it sort of like round round the corner finish off that area she's going to print out loads of pictures of her and her friends which she used to have stuck to the wall and put in that area so eventually this will all be finished how summer wants it so that's summer's little um side of the bedroom so no bunny wallpaper just the paint the vines her pictures once they're up and that's perfect exactly how she'd have had her bedroom if she was in her own room then round this side we've got the girl's side of the bedroom Calax unit again that hasn't been replaced that was already in here I just bought new boxes for it um Tony's box up on the top there although I have thought about getting a metal side table you know those little round metal side tables and putting it in this gap because it's nice and light I can move it when I need to get in the drawer but also all of their Tony's characters that are currently in this tub will magnet to the top um, so that's something I'm thinking about doing if I, you know, if I come across one of these side tables, you know, the image I've got in my head, then I can pick it up. Um, but yeah, these are their new bunk beds. These come from Argos. They're called Habitat Brooklyn. Annoyingly, we've got to ask for a replacement piece on the top because it looks like when they were painting them, they got like a heat bubble and it split. Kev's not impressed because it means half taking the bunk beds apart to replace it. But they do. it does need doing because although the beds were a good price because I got quite a lot of discount, 
it's still a lot of money. And then there's like some little white caps that go on all of the gaps, which we haven't done yet because obviously we're going to have to get the screwdriver back out and take them apart. But I love these beds. They're solid, um, so much better than the old ones that they had. And they have got this massive drawer. The drawer is the entire size of the whole bottom bed, the whole bottom bunk. The drawer is that big. In fact, it's so big, I can't actually pull it all the way out unless I was to move this unit. So I've got it all kitted out in here with lots of IKEA um, baskets. So I've got all the school uniform for Sienna, Sienna's pajamas, Felicity's pajamas, Felicity's school uniform. I could do with some more of these um, these tubs, but they come in a pack of six, and you get two big squares, two narrow ones, and two tiny ones. And I just want more of this size. Um, that would be what I'd ideally need. But this is um, absolutely amazing. It goes all the way back. It's huge. So it's given us so much more storage. It's absolutely perfect everything I can show you for now I do want to add that mirror above the radiator cover and I want to put a little side table to put the Tony's characters on here that lamp isn't staying there that's going to go up on top of the chest of drawers I just need to run an extension lead around the whole room but aside from that it's pretty much done it's all just finishing touches pictures on the wall those sorts of things that Summer's going to do in her in her own sweet time um but yeah i'm happy it's taken a whole week cost an absolute fortune i've learned to wallpaper which is a life skill i very much needed um and the kids are really happy and that's the main thing they are super made up with it they love it and it's the tidiest room in our entire house the rest of the house looks like an actual bomb has gone off um, so that's my job for the rest of this week to try and make it look like we haven't been ransacked because yeah if anyone wants to pop round for a cup of tea we're going to be drinking up here because it's the only place i'd be happy to let anybody see right now um i will put some links in the description box for bits and bobs that we've, we've put in here anything anyone wants to ask then just drop it in the comments but I think I've pretty much said where everything came from the carpet we got from Tappy Carpets and you can haggle in there the last three carpets Kev's gone in and said would you take this much and they're like yeah fine um every time he goes in I'm like do you know what try and be a little bit cheekier because they don't even hesitate they just go yeah all right so Kev went in saw this carpet should have been 200 for the size we needed he's like will you take 180 and then I was like yeah all right <laughs> I'll take it I was like should have said 150 uh, but yeah it was not a bad price at all 180 for the carpet and it is really quite a big room if you've been here watching vlogs before this one you'll know that we were meant to buy a wardrobe I'm so glad that I didn't buy the wardrobe because it wasn't until we stripped the room out that I realised I didn't have room for a wardrobe because the wardrobe was going to go where the chest of drawers currently are and the chest of drawers was going to go here and I wouldn't have been able to pull the drawer out under the bed. Um, I realised, I was like, hang on a minute, this isn't going to work. So we went back to the drawing board and the only way we could have fitted a wardrobe was to buy just a normal double size when we were going to get a triple. And I was like, do you know what? You get more room in a chest of drawers. So if anyone's wondering, where's the wardrobe that you went to Ikea to look at? I hadn't done my measurements properly um, but anyway I now need to go and he's going to pick Felicity up from school and take her to the hospital for her hospital appointment where we can hopefully find out um, some more news I don't know if there's even news a diagnosis for what she's done to her knee would be nice um, so yeah the next thing you'll see is me and Felicity um, going to the hospital. Felicity's appointment is in six minutes and this is the current situation. We've been in traffic for 10 minutes trying to get into the hospital car park which is just up there where the big blue P is but we've been in this yeah I'm guessing there's no spaces. What do you reckon Lissy? Do you reckon we're going to be able to find a space if we can get in there? It looks like it's on a one in one out at the moment. even write it the um, afternoon and evening that I've been having. Um, firstly got to the hospital, finally got the car parked, was rushing to get to the appointment which we were five minutes or so already late for 
and Felicity's going like great guns on her crutches. She's really got the hang of it. She's super speedy. And as we went from outside to inside, before the words could leave my mouth to say, whoa, hang on a minute, it's gonna be slippery. Her crutches hit the indoor um, flooring and the crutches went like that. And she went like that, flat on her face, like flipping Bambi. Um, she was a little bit like shocked. It's not the first time she's done it. She did it at school the other day, hopping along up the pathway and it was raining and there's a drain cover, crutch hit the drain cover, did the same thing, um, but she was fine. She got back up, got to the appointment, only to be told, I've got you down for a telephone appointment at quarter to five. I was like, no, it's meant to have been changed to an in-clinic appointment at 2.15. So she said, okay, go and take a seat and I'll sort this out. So we waited for about half an hour, finally got in with the consultant. He said that there is some fluid on her knee um, they think it's like a ligament injury that she's done while she was playing um, on the inflatable obstacle course at the swimming pool. So they think that she's done something there, hasn't noticed she's done it because she's been in water, she's having fun, you know, she's having a good time, but she's done some damage. And because she's now done th almost three weeks with her leg bent, because she doesn't straighten it, because she can't get it straight, so she's hopping around with it bent all the time. He said, even if you didn't have an injury, if you kept your um, one of your ligaments bent for that amount of time, it would hurt to straighten it out. So she's got exercises to do. They're gonna see her again in two weeks. And he said, I'd hope that when we see her back here in two weeks, she'll be off the crutches. So lots of hot water as well. So soaking her in the bath, soaking her like she's a jumper. <laughs> no, getting her to soak herself in the bath and get that hot water around the knee to loosen the muscle. Lots of stretching and try as much as we can to get her to start to put some pressure down on it. Um, so that was the outcome of the appointment. As we left the appointment, I looked at my car parking ticket and I was like, right, we've got three minutes until this ticks over one hour and then the price goes up. So I got to the car park, stuck my thing in the machine and it was 11, I needed to be back for 10 past. It was 11 minutes past, £5.60. £5.60 to park the car for one hour and one minute. I was absolutely flabbergasted. I was like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> um, so anyway, got home, it was sat eating dinner. Next thing, Sienna falls down the stairs. Not all of them, but in trying to stop herself from falling, she grabbed hold of the, um, the banister and she's grazed, bashed her elbow, grazed all up her elbow, that was bleeding. Um, so that's been patched up, sorted out. Got Felicity in the bath, said to her, just lie down, let me wash your hair. And I noticed blood all inside her ear. And I was like, why is her ear bleeding? Um, so I was like, shocked, because you don't expect to see blood coming out of an ear. So I got some, um, toilet paper and dabbed it to see if I could see where the blood was coming from. She must have just caught it with a fingernail. She's got a tiny little nick right in the top of the ear and it was it was bleeding quite a lot because your ears do, don't they? Um, so yeah, so that was bleeding. And I was like, honestly, what more today? It's been one thing after another. Um, but everyone has gone to do their own thing. Jamie's at the gym, Brooke's at the gym, Kevin Reese at the gym, Summer's in there, Riley's up in his room. And the girls are supposed to be in bed, but I think I can hear somebody out there. Oh, oh, <laughs> I thought it was one of the girls. Oh, you're horrible. It was Riley. Oh my gosh. Can you dance on the cheesecake? I haven't done the cheesecake yet. And if I hear one more person say, can I have some cheesecake for me to reply with, I've not even sliced up the cheesecake yet. I'm gonna lose my mind. So on that note, I'm gonna go and slice up the cheesecake and I'm gonna have a massive slice for myself okay. because I'm, I'm done with today. Today can do one. Um, but thank you for watching. Um, and I will see you all very, very soon.